right, uh, our next comic can be seen, uh, it can be seen every week on uh, True TV Smoking Gum Presents. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mike Trainer. Yeah. Hey, how we doing, everyone? Yeah, hey, you're like, all right, now who's this fucker? Shit. Uh, up here, you're looking at me, forming opinions. I'm wearing a shirt I think makes me look cool, which I think somehow also makes me a douchebag. <laughs> Some of you might think I'm a fat guy because of this, right? Shut up, no. <laughs> this isn't me being fat. This is me finding a lot of shit delicious, lady. Maybe someday fat. Right now, I just got a lot of common with fat people. A lot of fat things are happening to me. I'll tell you about it, don't worry. I went to my microwave, saw there were two seconds left on it from the last thing I cooked. That's a fat thing. Because I had an acid flashback to when I was cooking that thing and my face was right up against the plastic glass and I started doing the countdown. Five, four, three, two, fuck it, it's right, I ate it. Cause I'm busy. I'm not waiting two more seconds, I got shit to do. I don't really, but I pretend. I'm a big man, people, I'm a giant. Six, four, big hands, big feet, big belly. This stays average, what is that all about? Does anyone? Can I snow? I just told you it was small. Take a look. I'm not making that up. Don't worry. Prove it. I'm not using any of this big shit I got. No, I, get, I would gladly trade some of this for more of this. That doesn't exist. I look for it. But ladies, I see you. I, I notice you. I said average. I didn't say small. Big difference. It's not a deal breaker. None of you's ever seen this and called off something that was about to happen. So everybody's been like, what? No, flag on the play, that's bullshit. I hang out with your big stupid ass all night, listen to your dumb, this is the penis thanks you give me, get the fuck out of here, no. You better have another one next to it like a shark. Sharks have two dicks, I don't know if you know that. They might not, I might have just made that up. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Don't feel bad for women that have sex with me. Some of you are starting to do it. Don't feel bad. I live here in New York. You might pass some of them on the sidewalk. Don't feel bad for those ladies. Do you realize the day after a lady has the sex with me is the day she starts getting her shit together? It's true. Some of you have been there. Not with me, but an equivalent. You wake up, you roll over, you see something like this, naked and snoring. You especially. That's when a lot of women say, all right, all this shit I got going on in my life right now, this can all stop today. I see her later. Dignity, self-respect, she didn't have it before, she's got it now. Better posture sometimes. This is like a Tony Robbins seminar for you bitches. One lady went on to become governor of Alaska. I was so excited. Yes. She's writing books. Yeah, there's something on TV, I don't know. She's doing her own thing now. Appreciate you yelling that out though. I finally figured something out. I learned something, I look stupid, I learned something. I know the most depressing part of going to a strip club now. Took a lot of research. It's when you get a lap dance from a lady and she looks at you and feels like she is to say something attractive or sexy about you to make you feel better. So I can tell when she's reaching. This is something a stripper said to me, word for word. She looked at me and said, hey, if you worked out, you'd be in good shape. <laughs> yeah, uh, stripper, that's not really a compliment. It's, it's not a compliment, it describes everyone that's ever lived. I get it, I'm not stupid, I'm, I'm like, whoa! I, I didn't work out, I'm not in good shape. You didn't get along with your dad. You do this shit for a living, it's how it works. It's cause and effect, bitch. Now get back to work. Kiss from a rose isn't gonna play all night. Cause that's the song that was playing. I didn't say that. I'm a giant pussy. I think in the moment I was like, thanks. I'm gonna get in shape, I'm gonna do it. 
I decided, I already know how I'm gonna get in shape. This year it's gonna happen. I saw the product on the television. It's gonna help me. P90X, you guys familiar? I love it. It's an amazing, it's a DVD. You watch it, it teaches you how to work out. And it has an excellent core principle behind it all. Muscle confusion. It's not what you're working out, it's the order you're working it out in. You're doing enough, your muscles are like, what the hell's going on? You get in shape, magic. I don't even need to buy the DVDs though. I can confuse my muscles very easily. I go up the stairs and there's an elevator right there. My muscles are like, what is this shit? No! Don't be a hero, what? I don't know, we're fucking confused. That's how my muscles talk. Um, well, this is good. It's good to be back in my hometown for a few days and be in New York. This is wonderful. Yes. That makes people clap. I had no idea. Um, I'm on the road. I'm in a lot of places I have no business being. I was in Montana doing comedy. You from Montana? Well, there's a fucking assholes there. I don't gotta tell you. I was on stage. I'm sure you're terrific, but not these people. I was on stage five minutes into my set. Some guy back of the room yells, queer! I didn't even know what the fuck was going on. I thought maybe that's how gay people meet each other in Montana. <laughs> queer! 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 It was dark. It's like fucking Mar Marco Polo. Queer! Fish out of water. I don't know what that means, but I'm just saying it's gotta be hard for them. <laughs> Guys, that's it for me. My name is Mike Trainer. Thank you very much for coming out and seeing the show. Mike Trainer, one more time for Mike Trainer. Let him hear it. <laughs>